Um, so lichens are fungi that that live with uh, algae, and while fungi usually don't have to form a vegetative um, structure, since they just grow on some wood or or parasitize, they basically just need to have some some cells uh, having contact with the host. In lichen, in the lichen symbiosis, the fungus needs to form some kind of structure for the algae, and um, these structures have different different morphologies, and we can distinguish two main types: micro lichens or crustose lichens, and they are like a crust on the substrate. Here, we cannot really collect those crusts without collecting the substrate. And then there are macro lichens or folios or fruticose lichens that have these um, talus structures. Maybe we have to we have to come closer then we can see those. I don't know how to zoom. Like, oh, yeah, like we that. have these okay. structures here. And actually, the reason why these structures are produced is that the algae have surface to do photosynthesis for the symbiosis. The next problem in this symbiosis is. The, um, the dispersal of both partners. We have two partners in a, in a symbiosis, and when they reproduce, the fungal partner can reproduce by itself. In this example here, we have fruiting bodies, these roundish, roundish structures, that are actually similar or very similar to those of fungi that don't form symbiosis. However, the spores that are released from these fruiting bodies only release the fungal partner. So this lichen, when it reproduces, the spore has always find to find a new partner, a new uh, free living algae to form a new symbiosis. This is obviously a problem, and a lot of lichens have solved these problems by reproducing both partners at the same time. Two examples are shown can be seen here. Here we have this structure, and then at the margins, these powdery structures. Or in this crustus lichen, the whole surface is powdery. And this powder actually can be easily scraped off, and it includes both partners, the algae and the fungal part. So in this way, then both partners are are blown by the wind somewhere else on a new substrate and can grow into new lichens. Where, where were the, you said this one was from Germany, right? Actually, this is from the Alps in, I think in Germany or Well, that's actually from Austria. Austria, close. And you, this is used, or was used to, to poison wolves? Yes, in former times they used the, this yellow color here of this lichen is actually poisonous. And what they did is to, uh, to kill a rabbit and stuff it with this lichen and have it uh, uh, light on the forest floor and then wolves would come eat it and, and die of them. Do they have to, do they have to ingest, like if I took a little bite and ate it, would I just get sick vomiting or would I get yes. very sick? No, actually it's not so poison, so you have to eat quite a bit to, to get poison. In, um, are all these from, from Europe, all these lichens? Um, no, this is collected in Michigan. Okay, Michigan, that's right. Yeah. And this was, this was from the coast in Africa. And this one, I'm not sure. It doesn't say here. Uh, all right, well, thanks. Thanks a lot.